Ah, uh, you've heard of transgender before, right? But have you heard about transable? Yeah, no, for real, it's a thing. There are people out there who are identifying because, hey, it's 2023, you can identify as, a, as, as anything that you want to, and everyone else is expected to just affirm your identity and go along with any illusions or disillusions that you might have about what you think you are. Well, anyways... The latest step, the latest destination along the slippery slope is that we have people who are identifying, yes, as disabled. They say they were born into the wrong body, and they think, for whatever reason, that they're not supposed to have arms or legs. They view themselves as a paraplegic or something, and so they live their lives as if they were disabled. Some of them are even trying to actually physically disable themselves. Chloe Jennings Wyatt spends her days confined to a wheelchair. It's tough to get around, and she struggles with living in a world that isn't built for the disabled. However, Chloe is actually able to walk perfectly, and chooses to live her life like a paraplegic, due Why? to a rare psychological disorder called BIID. Despite wishing she was paralysed, Chloe still takes part in extreme sports. Oh, like of course, skiing. as one would. BIID has led Chloe, a Cambridge University educated research scientist, to harm herself in a bid to become paraplegic for real. We have got to make this stop. When does the insanity end? This is what happens to a society. When you separate yourselves from any kind of common sense or objective truth, when everyone gets their own truth and everyone can just identify as whatever in the heck they want to be, you got people like this individual, clearly mentally ill, so are all of the other people who want to identify as something that they're not. You have these people out here who say that they are born in the wrong body. They were just born this way, right? Right? And so they have to mutilate themselves. Here's the thing. Virtually everyone that you ask will say, hang on, let me rephrase. If you ask people, if you say to them, hey, do you think that a doctor should chop this guy's arms and legs off? Or this lady, I guess it is. Do you think a doctor would be morally justified in chopping their arms and legs off in pursuit of, you know, affirming their delusion or whatever it might be? Everyone would say, no, 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 you shouldn't have a doctor chop off their legs, chop off their arms. That would be ridiculous. That would be sick. This individual is clearly mentally ill. You would never take an, a, an individual in that state and start chopping them to pieces and say, ha there we go. We affirmed your delusion. So... Why is it any different whenever it comes to gender-affirming care? If it's cripple-affirming care, and that's bad, what's the difference between that and gender-affirming care? The reality is there is no principal difference. You're chopping, you're dismembering somebody, you're chopping off healthy body parts one way or another, but for whatever reason, society has just accepted this idea that you can be born into the wrong body when it comes to gender, but apparently not whenever it comes to being a cripple. The reality is, and this is considered a hot take for some weird reason, but the reality is we shouldn't be doing these surgeries to anyone. It doesn't matter if you're over the age of 18. I hear conservatives say sometimes, well, I don't care if you chop off your own penis and testicles so long as you're 18 years old in one day. <laughs> I'm a conservative. What? What's conservative about that? And for one, why? What is the what is the societal benefit of having 18-year-olds chopping their penises off? It doesn't exist. If freedom, listen, if freedom is defined as your ability to chop off your own penis, we need to start rethinking some things. Why is that beneficial? Freedom for the sake of freedom is not always a good thing. Sometimes we as, you know, mentally well individuals, rational adults, should look out for other people who are not in the state of mind to protect themselves. If you have someone who is mentally deficient, you don't let them do certain things. You say, hey, no, I love you. I'm going to protect you from this. That sounds like a bad idea. Same exact thing should apply. Why would any doctor go to someone, I don't care if they're 35 years old, if somebody comes to them clearly mentally unwell with a diagnosable mental illness, and many times you, we see this in the community, giant rates of compounding mental illnesses like depression, anxiety, bipolar, etc. Why would you ever take that individual and go, hmm, you're coming to me, a doctor, and you're telling me that you don't want to have a penis anymore because you think you're a woman? Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll chop off your nuts. What? Once you start accepting this identity stuff, you gotta just accept it all. So either we accept it all or we reject it all. I vote we reject all of it. None of this makes any sense. It is a gigantic example of mental illness, and no society can stand without standing on some sort of reality. If we separate ourselves from reality in this case, 
What's next? If we don't stop them whenever it comes to mutilating children, for example, or anyone, for example, if we don't stop them from mutilating innocent people who are just deeply confused, what will we stop them from doing? This is a very symbolic battle of if we allow this kind of insanity to win, oh my gosh, you think this is where it ends? If the slippery slope has taught us anything, we should all know by now, this is not where it ends. This is only the beginning. You think that the, the trans-able cripple stuff is the... No. That, that's, that's peas and carrots compared to what's about to come. We're going to have people identifying as different ages. We're going to have people identifying as different races. Anything and everything. They're just going to... It's going to be complete insanity. This is what happens when you separate yourself from reality. Anyways, that's all I've got for you today. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, share this video. It helps a lot with the algorithm. Let me know what videos you might want to see in the future. Let me know what you want to see done differently over here uh, on YouTube. I like making YouTube content a little bit more time investment, a little trickier, and we don't get any views. I don't know what that's all about. We get no views, so uh, help me out. Share, comment, like. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me an awful lot. Anyways, until next time, keep me in your prayers. Keep your country in your prayers. God bless.